Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. In today's video, we are talking about another Echeveria hybrid. Again, it's very easy to take care. Uh, this guy was um, not watered for almost two and a half months. The same thing what happened to most of my succulents, but still it did survive. Uh, I didn't find any stretching or I didn't find any kind of wrinkles. Uh, it had a couple of dry leaves. But other than that, the succulent is doing absolutely fine, which means it does not require a lot of care and maintenance and is very easy to grow. Uh, talking about this variety, it is an hybrid. I'll put the parentage on the screen. You can check what is this succulent uh, cross-pollinated with and created into. Uh, the name of the succulent is called as Echeveria John Daniels. It's an absolutely beautiful succulent. Uh, majority of the succulent has this beautiful mint green color but you will notice just like our succulent fabiola it has this uh, markings on it which tends to turn red as and when you give a good amount of morning direct sunlight for five to six hours even the edges of this succulent will also turn really bright red in color and let me tilt i'm quite scared that i'm going to drop some soil but if you're going to look for the under part of the succulent it completely turns red as you can see oh your i don't know if it's visible but it tends to completely turn red so basically the upper portion is going to stay green and the lower portion tends to turn red with this one uh, stripe over here that again tends to turn really red it gets these beautiful red tips it looks absolutely beautiful please don't go according to this succulent it is still recovering from a lot of uh, torture that it has gone through but it's an absolutely beautiful succulent the soil remains the same because it's an echeveria you're gonna wait for the soil to dry out completely the soil has to be bone dry and then do a complete watering the soil has to be loose porous and well draining what we use for our other succulents uh, do not keep the succulent in direct afternoon sunlight otherwise the leaves will get burnt as you can see over here there are slight scars on the leaves this was because it got exposed to morning direct sunlight and uh, talking about propagation belongs to the echeveria family echeveria genus it tends to get propagated via leaves uh, best time to propagate the succulent is during the summers because summers are its growing period you can do a beheading you can do a stem cutting all the three methods tend to work out really well you can even separate the offsets once they receive once they reach to a decent size uh, talking about fertilizers you can do it during the summer period if you are a person who tends to use fertilizers go for a liquid based fertilizers always dilute your fertilizer before using it onto the soil if you do not use fertilizers like how i do i don't use any fertilizers it's absolutely fine you can see my succulent is doing absolutely fine and it's healthy so there is nothing to be panicked about that if you do not use fertilizers your succulents are going to die there is nothing like that I do not use any fertilizers for any of my succulents. Yes, at times I do use pond water, but it's been long. I haven't used because I haven't built a pond over here in my new place. So they are just without any nutrients in the soil. Probably they are taking all the nutrients from what garden soil I have used because every soil does have some amount of uh, nutrients and that amount of nutrients is enough for our succulents. Talking about mealybug attack, uh, it might very occasionally get affected with mealybugs, but not very often. Again, if you are going to have blooms, if you are going to have blooms or if you're going to have uh, flowers, then definitely it is going to attract uh, mealybugs and aphids. But apart from that, I usually do not have any issues with mealybugs with this particular uh, succulent. So guys, I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep propagating.